Es bringt sich noch ein. Wie gefunden sie auf der Welt. Es bringt It dawned on me over time that um, music was one of the first um, forms of documentation that was actually collected by historians from this period. The topical songs are a little bit like snapshots. Uh, you can listen to them or look at them and get uh, what they give on the surface and then the more you seek to contextualize them the more you're going to understand about the, the history and, uh, and uh, where they came from. I'm Brett Werb and I have been for many years the music and sound collection curator at the Holocaust Memorial Museum. Henry Begelman was a um, musician born in Łódź, Poland in 1911. He comes from a very interesting lineage. The Begelman family had been um, a klezmer musician dynasty that could can be traced back to uh, probably the middle of the 19th century or earlier in Poland. As a member of a dynastic uh, musical family, uh, Henry Begelman just naturally uh, became a music professional, as did his uh, seven brothers and three sisters. Uh, Henry uh, and his brothers played in uh, cabaret ensembles for weddings and also uh, in popular culture as members of swing and jazz and pop bands. Uh, Henry himself was a um, violinist and a saxophonist. His uh, older brother, uh, David, was uh, perhaps the most famous uh, uh, composer of Jewish music in uh, interwar Poland. In the ghetto, all the Begelmans uh, were uh, involved in music activities. David Begelman, the older brother, uh, composed a number of songs that, uh, that survived that became folklorized. These uh, songs were collected and preserved afterwards. We don't have the uh, David Begelman scores. David Begelman did not survive. None of the Begelman siblings survived except for Henry Begelman. After the war, um, Henry Begelman found himself a group of fellow musicians who most of them were relatives one way or another. And uh, in a DP situation, reorganized a group that uh, called itself the Happy Boys. It was a uh, ensemble that played um, light music, uh, Jewish theme music, and topical music about the being displaced. We also have from them the lyric sheets from the original uh, songs that Henry composed uh, about the DP experience. Uh, many of the uh, songs that uh, were uh, that originated in the displaced uh, uh, persons camps or that became popular there seem to um, highlight this this theme of um, of uh, being unwanted. The one uh, song sheet that we can focus on here, which is which is an original um, lyric by uh, Henry Begelman, um, does uh, very uh, specifically focus on this one aspect of the DP existence. <laughs> Das Beste ist er weg, es ist ein gräuler Schreck, ein Schreck. Uh, as a Holocaust Memorial, we're very focused on, um, on what took place at that time during the period of the Holocaust, the camps and ghetto experiences. And uh, I think what had been overlooked initially would have been what the displaced persons were up to, the survivors, the initial survivors, those who were on the one hand trying very hard to forget what had just happened to them and move on with life, and on the other hand, hoping never to forget and wanting to perpetuate the memory of uh, those recent experiences. And although maybe the person who created this uh, song is not going to survive, someone is going to survive who will have locked into their minds. Uh, the DPs uh, were the first to um, see the importance of this and uh, make sure that they were somehow or other archived. And we're now finding dozens and dozens of, uh, of songs uh, that uh, speak directly to this, the inability to, to um, find a, uh, a new home. Oh, 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 oh,